Hi there, Simona from VectorTwist. Today in this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can quickly create a Halloween pumpkin here in Adobe Illustrator. This is really a beginner tutorial, and this is a great way to learn how to use the pen tool. And I've created even a template for you, and the download link is in the description. First, we're going to open a new document. I'm just choosing the print setting, and I'm giving it the name pumpkin. And then I'm going to make sure that my orientation is set to landscape and not portrait. So let's click OK. And then we're going to open the swatches panel. Let me drag it out here. And then I'm going to choose an orange color for our pumpkin. I'll set the fill to the orange. And then I'm going to choose the ellipse tool. Then I'm going to draw an ellipse onto the artboard. And then I'm going to turn on the Smart Guides. Just go to View and make sure Smart Guides is checked. Then I'm going to choose the Pen tool. Now we want to add extra points here to our ellipse. And with the Pen tool, you can just click on the path and you get the plus sign, and then you can add extra points. Then we're going to switch to the Direct Selection tool, select the point, and pull it downwards. I'll do the same on the bottom. Then we're going to do the same here on the left side. And what we are doing here is we're distorting our ellipse and we're giving it a pumpkin shape. Of course, you can choose any kind of pumpkin shape you want, but this is really an easy way from an ellipse to create a pumpkin shape. So once we've tweaked it, now we're going to add extra color. So first, we're going to choose a darker orange. Which orange you choose is up to you. Then I'm going to choose the pen tool. And then I'm going to add extra lines here onto the pumpkin shape. So I'll set a point here, another point on the bottom, and drag out the handle. Now I have the fill on, so I just want to make sure that I actually set the fill to the stroke. And then I'm going to continue creating my shape. I'm going to have it move along the outside of the pumpkin shape. As you can see, I'm just following along of the outline of the pumpkin with the pen tool and I'm going to create an extra shape on top of the orange shape. And once you see what I'm doing, you get the idea. We're just going to create extra shapes so our pumpkin will get some definition. How you set the shape, if you're going to do it in one solid shape or single shapes, this is really up to you. And maybe we're going to set a point up here, drag out the handlebar, and then curve it a little bit, and then follow along on the other side and drag it down to the bottom. So we're going to continue this until we meet the other side of the pumpkin. So one more anchor point up here, pull out the handle, close it, another point on the bottom here, drag out the handle, then we're going to close it again, and another small point here, and then we're going to close the shape. Now the stroke is on, and what we want to do now, we want to actually select it and set the stroke to a fill. As you can see, we have now a definition to our pumpkin. So right now we only have two shapes. Sometimes we need to tweak it a little bit, and you can do this just with the direct selection tool. So you just grab the points and move them up or down, depending on how you want the shape to be. Maybe these points a little sharper, and maybe I pull the path a little bit down, and then I'm going to add even more shapes to the pumpkin going along the shape that I've just created. And we're going to close it, and we're going to just create some sickle-like shapes just on the outside of it. As you can see, it'll give us, again, a little bit of a definition. It'll make it look like it's a slight shadow, so one on the other side. And it can be on top for now, but then we're going to set it to the back. So we'll select it, and then we're going to set it to the back. So we're going to add another shape in here, and we're going to follow along our darker orange shape. And if it's hard to see, just switch over to the stroke, so you can see what kind of shape you're actually creating. So here, I'm going to just create an outline following along the dark orange shape. So I'm going to have a point up here, drag out the handle. Another point down here, drag out the handle and then I'm going to close it. 
then of course we have to set the stroke to the fill again and then set it to the back. After that, I'm going to select our main shape and I'm going to open up the color and I'm going to play around with my orange. Maybe I'm going to give it a little bit of a stronger orange altogether. Then I'm going to create more shapes in a bright yellow and then maybe one here in the middle, just like this. This is really just done with the pen tool. You just create points, pull the handles, and then close the shape. These shapes are creating basically the highlight of the pumpkin. Now we actually need a stem for the pumpkin. So again with the pen tool and a brown color, we're just going to add with the pen tool a stem to our pumpkin. This is really like freehand style. So it doesn't have to be exactly, just let your imagination flow and create a stem for the pumpkin. We might have to alter it a little bit and zoom in, use the direct selection tool and tweak the path a little bit. Pull it down and make it meet the pumpkin shape. Then we want to add some highlights to the shape. And again, I'm going to use the pen tool, choose a lighter brown, and I'm going to add some highlights to our stem for the pumpkin. Again, simple shapes, nothing fancy. I'm just placing them where I think highlights could actually be beneficial to the shapes of it. And then one last one down here. And that's it. Now when I zoom out, here we have now our simple illustrator pumpkin. And we're going to choose black. And then we're going to add the eyes in just triangular shapes with a black fill. And then we need a mouth. Of course, we want the pumpkin to smile. So we're going to create a smiling mouth. One point down here, and we pull it in. And there we go. We have our pumpkin, our Halloween pumpkin. And then we're going to have a look. Maybe the eyes need to be a little bit further to the outside so I can move it around. And maybe I'm going to stretch the mouth a little bit with the free transform tool and make it bigger. Here we have our Halloween pumpkin. And I've taken this pumpkin and I created a poster out of it. And here, let me show you. So with a few shapes, with a little bit of pen exercise, we've created a Halloween pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe here to my channel. And I see you next time.